Happy Friday, you guys! I haven't been in New York City for a weekend where I like have no plans just kind of see where the weekend takes me in a minute so I'm really really excited to just see where the weekend takes us I just went to the dry bar starting the weekend off right I always get the straight up I felt the need to start over there okay <laughs> but hello <laughs> I always get the straight up at the dry bar. that's what I asked for and I ask for rounded ends it's my vibe okay I like it with my hair length um I just did my makeup and I'm about to head over to Brooke's apartment actually we have some <laughs> content <laughs> that we need to shoot for a brand um so I'm gonna go over there we're gonna take some pics oh my gosh I totally need to like iron this pocket down <laughs> stay Anyways, we're gonna do a little weekend in New York City. Summer in the city is back, baby. And, or it's never left, but I'm back in the summer in the city in a weekend. So I'm so excited. Ryan and I have happy hour plans. I'm gonna go to his apartment because he's in a great location. And we're just gonna find a spot nearby. I don't know if we're gonna get like appetizers too. I don't know. I want appetizers. And like get drinks and honestly just like go out and just have some Ryan and Danny time. I'm so excited. I really like have no plans this weekend other than tomorrow afternoon Margo Lee's having a birthday party in Central Park. So I'm really excited. I'll tell you guys more about that later. But yeah, I'm just wearing this little denim dress from Revolve. It's super down. I love it. It came with a belt, but I kind of just like it without the belt. Personal preference. A new coffee shop opened up in the East Village, Amore. So good. This is my second time going there this week. It's a iced latte, soy milk. Yeah, we're just gonna see the weekend takes us. So welcome back, you guys. I've decided to have a little avocado as a snack because my avocados that I got the other day are finally ripe enough. I have been obsessed with avocado, as you guys know. If it's in food for breakfast, oh, here I am cutting it terribly. Um, like it is just so good with salt and pepper on top and like that is just beautimous. So I already had lunch. I had some broccoli and turkey I'm trying to like eat a little bit more nutritiously before the weekend. Um, you guys know I'm a very balanced eater, but I just kind of listened to my body and today I've been like craving fresh yummy foods and veggies and healthy fats like avocado. If you guys... An easy thing to just infuse into your, I don't know, diet, if you will, is um, avocados, I've found. Like, adding it to anything, it fills me up, it's a healthy fat, it is just so delicious. Putting it in bowls with your eggs, whatever it is, and I just add salt and pepper. My dad says he adds lemon as well, I don't have any, like some lemon juice on top, and it's so delicious, and it's not very cute or anything. Um, you can make it cute, I'm just not really good at it, I just kind of like chop it up. Oh my gosh, and then I add salt and pepper, and this is literally so good. I have that song, um, Cheers to the Weekend by uh, Rihanna, stuck in my head. I've been singing it all morning. Like, I had my workout this morning with Katie, and we were like, Cheers to the freaking weekend. I drank to that. Oh, it's just so fun. I honestly can't wait till it gets. Like, I love the summer weather. Like, I can wait for fall, but I am excited for when it comes because I feel like. Everyone is back in town in the city and like the weekends are just full of doing fun things I'm like trying to play my birthday party right now figure out what I want to do for that I'm just excited, you know I talked about my last vlog like that empty back to school feeling because like I feel like I should be going back to school But also it is exciting because like more people are moving to the city that I know and everyone kind of like settles down after their summer travels and there is a lot of fun to be had so I'm gonna get a little work done eat my avocado and then I'm gonna go to Brooks for a little bit Probably hang out a little bit and then I'll come back. Oh my gosh, I just got to Brooks, guys. I just forget how sick her balcony is. Like, oh my gosh. Hi. Hi. I hear, are you playing Odessa right now? Getting yes, ready for the I concert. One week. We one week, one week T minus seven days. Oh, uh, hello, New York. I love you, New York. Oh my gosh. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna shoot some content. Hee 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 hee. Anyways. Getting it done. Getting it done. Happy Friday. Are you happy it's Friday? Um, I am. Yeah, I'm happy to hang 
I'm happy to like have a yeah. weekend here. That's what I was saying. Oh like, yeah, it's so weekend. nice to I just know, I have, like, like no plans, and I'm really looking forward to yeah, it. Yeah, like it's so nice. I love, love that. All right, we're back now. Brian had to push back our happy hour slash dinner situation 30 minutes because he had a call that got put on his calendar. Eating some of this Trader Joe's spinach and kale Greek yogurt dip. I'm so good. I changed. I think this is gonna be my outfit. Love, love this top. Revolve, I'm wearing my little nippies. Highly suggest, I'll link them down below. They are the best. You cannot see them under shirts, which I love. And it allows me to wear shirts like this. Backless, obviously it's just two little pedals, if you will. But it is officially time to Clorox my Air Force Ones. Something I do bi-monthly, I'd say. Um, I just take a wipe to them and just make them a little brighter. I have the time, might as well. Even though if we end up going to bars tonight, totally gonna have to clean them again. That's okay. Just need to figure out like a bag. I wanna wear like a cute little shoulder bag. But I like it. These jeans are from Girlfriend. I really, really they're like super high-waisted. And I love them for that. And they're nice and baggy. Keep bumping into my dishwasher, but yeah. Okay, JK, I had some time to think and I decided to change into this shirt. The other shirt felt too daytime, like it should have been with a skirt or something, but this top I think is perfect with these jeans. Um, fun fact, this is actually a bathing suit top. I got a Revolve, but I was like, mm, I can make that a top. So it's super nice, it's really thick material because it's like that bathing suit material. So I actually didn't need to wear my nippies for this. And it is, I love the back. Like I, I'm like CEO of wearing like small tops, big bottoms, like that's my vibe. Um, I just find it's like flattering on my body type. I enjoy it. Um, so I'll link this below for you guys and I'll also link the jeans below. I was able to get everything done for the weekend. So I have my video uploaded, my thumbnail, everything, links and everything. So Sunday morning I can be hung over if I want, depending on what I do tomorrow and my video will go up. I also don't think I'll be eating any more food in my apartment for the rest of the night. So I'm going to do a load, <laughs> podcast listeners know, um, and run the laundry, the laundry. Oh my gosh, I did laundry yesterday. That was good. I've got my life together this week, I love it. I'm gonna run the dishwasher, get that going. Oh, I should definitely, definitely be hydrating. I really like, haven't drank a lot this summer, like as much as I usually do. Okay, I'm about to, I'm about to head out the door, but I <laughs> thought I'd do my little lip combo for you guys. Makeup Forever Wherever Walnut, Wherever Walnut Lip Liner. I love this stuff. And then MAC Lip Glass in the color Lust. Ugh, love using MAC products, it brings me back. Comment down below if you were here for the Makeup by Danielle days. That was what this account <laughs> was originally called. And then I switched it to Danielle Marie, because I wasn't allowed to say my last name, because of my parents, obviously. And then I switched it to Danielle Marie Carolyn. The evolution. All right, we are officially ready to go. I'm gonna use this little bag here, this little lot of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Little Chanel guy. Put on my sneakers. We're gonna hit the town. If you guys have been to Nantucket, it's a very specific audience here, but if you've been to Nantucket and you've gotten a blueberry lemonade and you want something like it, come to Wicked Willie's, get the Wicked Berry Lemonade, but switch out the Citron for Club Soda, and it was perfect. And I'm so happy, and we're going to come here all the time now. We've moved inside, we want to see the band. Guys, look, they literally have Pong over there. I think this might be our new bar. Saturday 
I had a lot of those blueberry lemonades last night. I just took a shower. I'm like, oh, don't, don't, don't. I don't feel 100%, but I ate a bagel. My head just really hurts. So we're gonna make a little cup of a decaf coffee here. Because I feel like if I have normal coffee, it'll make me a little, a little anxious. So, got my ember mug. I love it. I'm obsessed with this thing. It literally keeps every last drop of your coffee hot, which I love. I'm just going to get ready. We're going to Margot Lee's birthday. I'm so excited. She was in the UK on her real birthday. Oh my gosh. The smell of coffee is doing it for me at this moment. Um, she's doing a little birthday brunch on Sheep's Meadow in Central Park, which I'm excited about. And the theme is dress like your favorite fictional character growing up, but what they would wear to brunch. So I thought of Hannah Montana. I bought a headset and everything. But then t this morning she texted, she was like, don't stress about the, the outfits, costumes, whatever. And I'm like, okay, are we like going super chill? Like, I don't really know. Like, should I just wear like a pink dress and cowboy boots and call myself Hannah Montana? I don't know. I could like bring the headset in case for photos or something. I don't know, but it's like hot out. So I don't want to be like dying of heat and I don't want to look so silly, but I think that's what I'm gonna do. Like I think Katie's gonna be Alice in Wonderland. She bought like a little apron. So I'm wondering if she's gonna bring that. I think Brooke's gonna be like a powder puff girl, power puff girl, the red one, I think she said. So Whew, I need an ice roller to the face. Oh, that feels right. This is all right and good. Anyways, good morning guys. This is what you get in a weekend vlog. Makeup is done. I'm wearing this little dress. I feel like this is something Hannah Montana would wear to brunch. Then of course I've got my white cowboy boots on, putting on some lip gloss. Katie changed her mind. She's wearing like a a gingham blue and white dress and like a little wicker basket bag and she's gonna be Dorothy. And then I've got my little headset on in case people are all out when we get there. Dress is Revolve, boots are I think they're Sam Edelman, actually. Woo! Oh yeah. Is that our Powerpuff girl? It is, it is. Did you buy the red bow for this or did you have no, it? No, I bought it. I bought oh, like, so like a cute. cheerleader. Yeah, you no, that was like what I bought for In this. her cheer era. Yes, I've always wanted I love to be it. a cheerleader. It's so cute. Thank you. I know. I have my little um, headset in here in case I wanna pop yeah. it out, sing I some tunes. Take a picture with Best of both worlds. Here comes Katie running and prancing through the field. This literally is a movie scene, I think. Hi guys, it's a lot later and I've just been laying in different areas of my apartment. <laughs> um, I decided to come to my bed. I like never lay in my bed during the day. I don't know why. I just don't. So I thought, I'm gonna go to my bed. I immediately got back. Margot's birthday was so lovely. I loved like, I love getting to know my friends' friends. It's really cool. Like I'm that girl that sounds like, so how does everyone know Margot? Like I need to know. It was so fun and I love seeing what everyone dressed up as. Margo dressed up as strawberry shortcake, which was so cute. I immediately got back though, showered, ordered Panera bread, which makes no sense because I was so hot, but I was craving soup. I think because my stomach is like not feeling 100% from last night. So I was like, ooh, soup, that feels right. And oh my God, I'm sorry. But yeah, I just like watched a couple movies and I FaceTime with Brooke <laughs> because we're both just kind of like having chill Saturdays. And yeah, I'm wearing my new The Bar sweatshirt. Uh, ugh. 
my head just won't stop hurting. I don't know why I'm like this. Like, Saturdays, everyone's like, woo, fun. But for me, Friday nights and Sundays are where I thrive. Saturday days, it just feels... Like, I feel like I treat Saturday days like how one should treat a Sunday. But I'm just always so excited Friday night to do things that Saturday day, I'm not in the mood to, like, day drink and stuff. So... We have some friends from Georgia in town this weekend. I feel like we always have friends in town this weekend. And Ryan's with them right now. It's like his friends. But like my friends too, obviously. But so he's been with them all day. And I think I'm going to go meet them all for dinner. And like maybe go out. We'll see how long I last. But I think I'm going to get some reading done. I'm still reading The Perfect Couple by Ellen Hildebrand. I'm liking my Kindle Oasis, I think. Except it's just like a little bit bigger. It has these indents. So you can like... This is the hand I read with. So you can like hold it like that. But sometimes I feel like I like my other Kindle. So I still have the other one in case. But I don't know. I can't decide. But I do like it. I like how there's little page turner buttons, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to read a little bit, which might be nice because my eyes might get tired. And then I might take a little nap. I literally took all my makeup off and I'll probably have to like re-get ready. But I just prefer that. I can't fully relax if my makeup's still on because then I'm like not really laying on the pillow. You know, stuff like that. Okay, guys. I'm up. We have a plan. I love a plan. This Virgo loves a plan. I'm meeting the boys. We're going to drift in for dinner. I'm so excited. It's by the water. I've been wanting to go. Um, so I'm about to leave to meet them. And then my friend Aubrey texted me. And we're going to be meeting her and some of her friends tonight. Me with all these guys. A ton of like our friends from... Yeah, I said. A ton of guys from Georgia are here. We're going to go to Cafe Wa. It's like near Comedy Cellar. And I always see it. It's always like so crowded. People are always waiting in line to get in. It's typical that you should get a reservation because you like have a table but apparently like stand up the whole time but we're going like not till 11 30 tonight i am so excited she told me that they start off with like a stand-up comedian to kind of warm everybody up loosen everything up and then it's a cover band so i'm so excited i didn't tell the boys that there's a comedian and they're gonna be so excited so i love having a plan especially going out in new york because it's just very stressful and i love when someone swoops in and it's like here here's a plan for you and i'm like thank you aubrey so i'm excited to see her we went to high school today together actually a while <laughs> a while back but i was getting dressed and i like have on the skims dress right now and I love it, but also I'm like, hmm, is it too fancy? Like, should I wear, like, jeans and a tiny top? My favorite outfit ever. Like, maybe. You know, like, maybe I should. Maybe I should look into ooh, my tank top options here. Just because if I'm dancing, like, this is kind of hot. And I kind of feel like I should wear some color. So I'm looking into that right now. Yeah, maybe I'll go this route. Oh, like, this top is so cute okay let's see okay love this top it's from princess polly i don't know i feel like these pants are, this is more of like a daytime fit or like going to a rave need to switch okay switch into this top from revolve jeans oh my god i used to post about them all the time where are they from okay i forgot where these jeans are from but i used to post about them all the time i think they're misguided or something like that i don't know I don't know, I haven't worn jeans in a while. And just like that, now I'm late. And I just changed into what I had on before. I just feel super comfortable in this. And I was gonna wear long pants anyway, so like, why, well, you know, I'm still gonna, whatever. I just feel cute in this dress. This is a Skims dress. It is literally magical. It just frames your body oh so well. Chanel bag, sneakers. I'm gonna put on some lip products and stuff, but first we're gonna take a ginger shot before we head out. I'm already late, but. That's gonna stop the ginger shot. And then I'm gonna brush my teeth before I go out. I um, drink a Celsius or a half a Celsius. So I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm feeling revived. I just like wanna go. I'm so excited about the night now. Ginger shot. If you have a shot, get your shot. Cheers. <sighs> that feels great. I'm gonna give it a second so I can let the burn and then I'm gonna brush my teeth. My dentist would be so proud. We're gonna head to drift in. Ryan and them are already there. Timing was tough because he was like, okay, 8.15. No, 8. I was like, what, what, what?
can't believe we're still out. Oh. We're at the deli right now. Rock on. Good morning. Skim stress strikes again. Wearing Ryan sunglasses. <laughs> the tables have turned. Ryan's all showered, fresh clothes, all the things. We're sleeping in my place. <laughs> I know. I, I, this is fun. I'm having fun in your new neighborhood. Um, it's Sunday morning. We just put our name down at Banter. Really good breakfast spot. But we have like 15 minutes, so we're gonna go to, we're gonna try Blank Street Coffee. Because everything is just right here. This is so fun. Um, we'll be turning left, so yeah, good morning. <laughs> Back home now. <laughs> Ryan gave me his shoes at the door because I washed his shoes and he's obsessed with how they look because I have a whole little routine that I do and I will show you guys. I've had things air drying here for like days now. I need to put these away. I kind of left my apartment in a mess last night. If you guys remember, I was a little stressed about my outfit. Ended up wearing this. I literally cannot wait to shower and put something else on. What goes on here? When I wash Ryan's shoes, if anyone is curious, when I wash my shoes, um, cause these are like fabric, so they just like wash really easily. I just throw them in and usually what I'll do is I'll put a towel in there too, so it's not as noisy. I'll like put one in between each shoe. And then I'll come up here and I'll just use whatever detergent, probably this one, Glamorous Wash. But the key is I've been using this, which is... Branch Basics Oxygen Boost. It brightens, whitens, removes stains and odors. I just put a scoop of this in the wash, then the detergent in there. Wash it on a normal cycle, and they come out great. So I'm gonna do that, and then we're gonna shower and get ready for the day. Actually, I'm just gonna throw these in there too. Brooke said she's washed her Air Forces, and it was great. So we're gonna try it out, because you can clean them like with Clorox wipes like I did, but the fabric part is still dirty, and I don't like that. So I'm gonna throw mine in too. I showered, I cleaned a little bit, I just slicked back, slicked back my hair, I'm drinking some coffee, and what am I doing? I'm putting on deodorant, that is important. Um, Ryan and I are going to have a little day, what am I doing? Oh yeah. I just put on some refined brow gel, and I'm gonna use the Super Goop Glow Screen in the color Golden Hour. It's a little bit more tinted, just cause I'm just wanting a little bit more. See, it just like instantly warms your face up. Ryan and I are going to go for a silly little walk. <laughs> he was like, I don't understand hawker walks, it's just a walk. And I was like, yeah, but it, it inspires girls all over to go for a walk, and guys, you know? Like it just inspires us to go for that little walk and put on that little workout set. And, and he was like, okay, I get that, I'm with that. Also guys, I did the funniest TikTok reel this morning on Ryan. I've always wanted to do it and it was just the perfect situation. He was in bed still and he like wouldn't get up. So I pretended to answer my phone and I like had the video recording on my ear. I swear this was completely real. And I go, hello? Yeah. Well, you guys should just go watch it, but it's like golf? today and he immediately turns over and I just basically did the TikTok where it's like using all of my boyfriend's favorite words in a fake phone call and he immediately was up. I was saying like wings and beer and it was so, so funny. I used some of my Lilabo Tenoir. I'm so happy to have more of that now. 
So yeah, I think we're gonna do a walk to Union Square. Hopefully there's a farmer's market there today. Ryan is on the hunt for some like farm fresh eggs, like, you know, farmer's market eggs for his egg flips. No, I'm just kidding, just for his personal use. And he also needs to buy a microwave for their apartment and just like errands and stuff. And I just wanna walk. So I said I would join him, so. That's that, and then I have a lot to do later to prep for our Hampton trip tomorrow with Gals in the Go, which I'll talk about more later, but yeah. Packing my little fanny pack here. I just wear it around my chest, and it's so amazing for going for walks right now. Um, I have Aquaphor in here right now, but we're gonna take some things from my purse. Uh, sounds of the city. Put my wallet in here. I always bring hand sanitizer. I use this Noshinku hand sanitizer. They have amazing scents and it's literally so small and like, again, they just have a ton of great scents. And I'm also gonna put my Laneige lip balm in here as well. And then I'll throw in my sunglasses. And then we are good as gold. This is the Aritzia romper. I love it. I got it in a size medium. And then I'm wearing my Hoka's. I haven't worn these in a while, but they're great for walking. They're so comfortable. We went to like a Hoka event and they had an artist there writing stuff. I'm like struggling right now. <laughs> and it's, she wrote on the go, which I thought was fun. Yeah, here's my Sunday fit. Hopefully this motivates you guys to go for a little walk. Like, cause we could like take the train or something to get to Union Square, but we're like, let's do a little walk. It'll be good for us, it'll be fun. And we'll just kind of see where the day takes us. Okay, so I'm so glad I just did this. I just looked up f farmer's markets in New York and a lot of them are on Saturdays. Um, so we're nixing that idea and I'm just gonna bike over to him and we're gonna like, I don't know, explore over there a little bit more, maybe walk the West Side Highway. Just, I wanna walk. I wanna walk, walk, walk. And I have like no podcasts left. So I'm like, I wanna walk with somebody and I wanna spend time with Ryan, obviously. So we're gonna walk, maybe run some errands. Just like I was saying, see where the day takes us, but yeah. Unless we like come across some cool random farmer's market that's not on Google, but yeah. And then, um, yeah. The shoes came out great. I mean, they just washed so well. Looking bright white, so I'm gonna let mine dry and I'm actually going to, oh wait, aren't I supposed to take the these out? Oh well, I didn't. Hopefully that's not an issue. I'll just take them out now to dry. I don't remember if I was supposed to wash them with it or not. But, oh well, it doesn't look like they really shrunk or anything. They probably needed a good wash, so it doesn't smell. I'm gonna bring Ryan's over. This fabric dries so fast. Um, yeah. Yay! Wash your sneakers, it's fun, it's very satisfying. Doing some measurements, I'm like in a mood. I like literally get a boost of serotonin of like doing home stuff. So they're thinking of, they don't have a microwave, so they're thinking of, actually I had came up with the idea. <laughs> Putting them. 11 and a half, so we need to find a microwave that size. Putting it in also there. Depth. Yeah, depth, so 11 and a half by. And then we're also thinking they want a full length mirror, so before they leave, they could see their outfit. Even guys need mirrors. So this is like a perfect, and it'll open up the space a little bit more. What? 11 and a half. 11. 11 and a half, okay, just remember those numbers. They're getting a new couch, this is from their old apartment, and then they'll do some artwork. They, they asked me to like help them, but we just need to figure out what color couch, then we'll go from there, we'll get a little rug, a little coffee table. And then we're gonna get like a little fan for in here. It's a little warm. And you also wanted to get a shade, right? To pull. Mm -hmm. That might not be today. I don't know. We can see what we see. But you ready for some home decor action? Right. Home improvement? <laughs> Extreme makeover. Home improvement. everyone looks <laughs> it's so true sizzle 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 doing a little post dinner walk on the west side highway i needed to walk off those tacos i'm like so full i love walking after we eat good vibes all around 
Ryan found some art. Yeah, Aw, to remember the Lower East Side. That's very sweet. Yeah, I think Luke will like it too. I don't know where you're planning on putting it, but very sweet. All right, about to leave Ryan. He's got lots of hanging up to do. Yep, a lot of work. Got this mirror. It's gonna look so good. They're gonna put it right there. And some other fun things. Ugh, I love that football's back. We are back home now. I walked back. We just got so much walking in today and it felt amazing. Got lots of stuff done for Ryan's apartment. We just had a lovely day. I just brought up my suitcase. This is my smaller base suitcase and I'm about to pack for the Hamptons. Um, oh, the lanterns just went on, so cute. Brooke and I, as Gals on the Go, partnered up with Fashion Pass and we're doing a trip with Fashion Pass, which I'm so pumped about. It was such a, honestly, a dream come true. We've always wanted to do stuff like this with Gals on the Go. So Fashion Pass came to us and wanted to do a little Gals on the Go co-branded trip with Fashion Pass because Brooke and I both naturally use Fashion Pass all the time. We're doing a Gals on the Go podcast trip and invited some of our other New York podcast specific pals because we thought it'd be fun to bring other New York podcasters um, and it will be a little podcast trip. So we're doing some fun things, literally just two nights from a Monday to a Wednesday. Um, and they like, I think they got like a party bus for us to go to the Hamptons, which will be fun. Did I say we're going to the Hamptons? Oh, we're going to the Hamptons. Uh, so we're staying at a hotel in East Hampton. And yeah, it's going to be a really good group of girls. So make sure to go follow me on Instagram, at Danielle Carolyn, and go follow Gals in the Go and everything like that. Um, but yeah, so packing is pretty simple because Fashion Pass already sent all of us um, a lookbook basically to choose from for all the events like one night we have a gals on the go like pink purple and yellow night So like you have to wear something in that color and then another we have like a boat day And then the first night tomorrow night we're doing a dinner at surf lodge and we thought it'd be fun to do like a white night so um, Yeah, it's pretty easy because I already picked everything out. I've already tried everything on I have it So I'm really just gonna pack some bathing suits and then like chill clothes, so nothing crazy. I still have my toiletry bag packed from Nantucket. I just figured I would just leave it. So not too strenuous there, but I have some podcast stuff I need to get done that so the podcast goes up while we're gone um, and some other things as well. So that's kind of my night. I've got the candle, I've got this massive candle burning right now from the brand Sniff, S-N-I-F. This is the Ditch Plains one. I think it's supposed to be like a Montauky. Or, I don't know Hampton scent of some sort. Oh, this is like a vibe over here But yeah, today was such a lovely day I really am gonna try and get a walk in every day even if I am like working out I really want to like walk more because my friend jazz like Walks every single day and I feel like it's so good for your mental health like and I mean like a long walk You know like today I was like listening to music walking back. I was like moving my arms like it's such a good workout I'm trying to get start to include more cardio into my workouts um, hopefully slowly getting back into spin. We'll see my next apartment has a peloton in the gym So maybe I'll like get back on it. I don't really know. We'll see but anyways talking 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 um Yeah Okay, so again, it's only two nights um, And it's like mainly night activities and then Saturday during the day we have like a boat situation So I'll bring a bathing suit as well, but this is my dress it's from Amanda Uppertured all of you have fashion pass this is for the pink, purple, and yellow night. It's like a long, beautiful dress. It's so flattering up top, too. I have a thing for long dresses right now, I guess. <laughs> this orange dress is from the brand Aster. I love their stuff. And this is for the boat day. And then this dress I'm so excited I'm wearing tomorrow night for the white night. I've worn this exact dress for a magazine launch party I was involved in in college um, that I had also gotten from Fas Fashion Pass. It's this brand, Sabrina Musayev. Beautiful and I've literally worn this exact dress in a different color and I was like this is perfect and Then also I'm bringing this little free people like two-piece set from fashion pass I think Brooke has it in pink and then this just black, you know midi dress from L space and then my Amazon PJs Of course, I just got this cover up from revolve. I love it. It's just like a black crochet situation So I think I'm gonna bring this and then a black bathing suit to wear underneath. I feel like that would be Really cute and then I'll bring like a colorful bathing suit option too. 
So I think I'll bring three bathing suits total just in case this green bikini from Monday Swimwear and then this is another light green bikini I got off Revolve. So I think that should really do the trick and then I'm just gonna pull together a few like like a workout set or two or something. I don't even know what I'm gonna wear on the bus ride there. Hmm. And then of course I always bring a couple of earrings and then I wear all the same necklaces and stuff so that's pretty easy. As for shoes, these are super cute. I feel like they could be good for tomorrow night for the white night. And then obviously bringing these, I will link them below from Revolve. They're like my go-to. They're because they're more like sandals so these would be good for, you know, any of the other outfits. I mean it would good, go good with this too but... And then I also have these that Steve Madden just sent me that are stunning, but I don't know if they're giving Hamptons, you know? They would look good with this dress, but I just don't know if it's necessary. Like, I feel like these, if anything, are more beachy. Oh, I also have my white platform. Steve Madden's back there. But these are, like, more dainty. I don't know. I think, I think I'll do these. I think, I think I'll do these. This will be good. And then, obviously... My Javianas. I love my flip flops so much. Just because I'm a Javianas girly. And then, like, maybe a pair of sandals too. Where are they? I love these things. These are from Ray. Boom. As for bags, I'm borrowing this bag right now from Vivrel, the Chanel bag. So I want to get a good use out of that. And it goes with the tan shoes that I'm bringing. So, and this could go with obviously any of the outfits. So that will be perfect. And that also fits my big camera, which is really nice. And then maybe I'll bring, hmm, maybe I'll bring, like, my white, I don't know, hmm, I'll have to think on the second bag, I don't know. friends it is time to end this vlog I just finished packing brought my sunscreen I'm really proud of myself um, this is my big old bag of all my things and I'm just gonna bring the one purse I decided because I think it'll go with everything I hope you guys enjoyed this weekend in my life vlog I know it's kind of all over the place but I love you guys dearly subscribe if you're new here and get excited for the next vlog bye